What is up Marshmallow Echo, Gree Echo here and I'm back with another video again so today I'm gonna show you guys the best brawler to win in Solo Showdown Dark Passage and basically I've recorded two brawlers for this mode which is Nani and also Shelly but this time I'm using Nita for you guys out there that love to play this brawler so without further ado let's get right into your match and hopefully we can get some great moments out of this as well and for me a victory is not just getting top 1 or top 2 it is also being in top 5 and not losing any trophies because um, sometimes the most important thing is to not lose trophies and when you lose trophies it's basically wasting all of your effort um, to win for the later round so yeah just try to be composed and for Nita normally I like to play passively I like to hide in grass like as such and to um, bully short range brawlers by shooting him like that and moving at the same time so seven brawlers left right here and for Nita one of the biggest benefits um, I can see would be the bear so I'm just gonna do this okay did some damage on there just to charge up for some power so got some damage on the poison from the poison but it's still fine I'm gonna go in front right here just to um, see how they do so um, as I said just now I like to play Nita passively so um, normally I would use Edgar in such modes but just for you guys I'm just gonna demonstrate it using Nita and yep so far so good so what I need to do now is to charge up for the bear and that is the most important thing for now and yep they're not fighting each other strangely so I'm just gonna go here six brawlers right, left right here I'm just gonna be careful not to get some damage from them and I've saw three brothers right here so far um, okay so far so good okay I'm in the top five so it's still fine if you're in the top five that means that it, it is quite a solid brawler to be honest and what I'm gonna do now is to be more careful about um, moving each move because I'm not really good brawler for Nita so I'm just gonna show you guys how Nita works if I were to play it so I'm just gonna do this okay okay Just gonna do this. Okay, I've got a bear right here. Let's go. So with my bear, I'm quite confident with this because I have my bear to support me. Okay, so one of the side feature of the bear is to shield it. So four brawlers left right here. I'm just gonna try to do some damage not to finish them off as I don't know if I can do that with just one power up but to charge up for my side feature which is the bear right here so uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay away from Edgar cause I know how deadly it can be if the person masters this brawler and I'm one of the Edgar lovers out there so um, I would definitely take a, take a look and make sure that he doesn't get any closer from that Oh my god, that Colt's HP is so tempting for me to go and do some damage and finish him off but I don't have enough power up and that is kind of a con right there. 3 brawlers left with 1 power up, that's quite quite good. So um, we have 4 power ups, hopefully Colt and the other guy can beat each other out and I can get a top 2 instead. So okay, let's go. So to, to not waste time. I'm just gonna go to the poison area and just suicide and not let him get a kill. Yup, basically that's it. And this would be the second round right here. I'm just gonna press play again once again. As I said on my last video, I'm trying to extend the video length as long as possible for you guys to see different gameplays. Cause normally I would do just one gameplay and it is not enough for you guys to see. So 
I'm just gonna try my best to record more and longer videos each time when I show up cause not like last time where I can record every single day um, I can only record like two to three times a week so hopefully I can keep up with the pace and record more videos in front of you guys so I'm just gonna do this okay bow is there oh my god the thing about bow is if you do constant damage towards a brawler like with just six shots you get eliminated so it's just really really scary for bow and plus bow is almost a long range brawler um but his reach is long enough if your accuracy is good so one brawler is out seven to go excluded me so i'm just gonna play with the grass for a while and if you guys think that the gameplay is boring it's actually part of the tactic so if you guys don't really care about like going out and killing brawlers just stay passively and be a camper just camp camp around if you want to just store some trophies for you guys to try out new brawlers or something like that so six brawlers left one towards um the top five one more to get the top five spot okay we're in the top five spot right now and we have got one of the strongest brawler i think for this match daryl Okay, I'm just gonna go away because Daryl knows how to roll so if he knows how to roll it will be a trouble for us to get away so um oh my god I've got the top 5 spot again and yeah not, not gonna say that it's a bad result I will just say that it's not good enough so if you guys have mastered this brawler it's definitely a solid one as I haven't lost a round where I just struggled to get into the top 5 so basically this will be the video guys comment down below what other brawlers you are using in this match and also subscribe for similar content like this and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video peace out